Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the second episode of the Solving Programming Challenges series. And in this video, we're going to be solving a lowercase challenge, which is a really simple challenge just to get us started uh, with this series, essentially, uh, just the second episode. So let me first of all show you what this um, challenge is all about. In the lowercase text challenge, we receive a string of text from the file and we must convert the text to lowercase and then print it again. So for example, that string here, this is a dog where dog is all uppercase and the first T is uppercase would be converted to all lowercase and we would just print that off. Um, the way this is gonna work is that we're going to receive the file name as the first argument to our main method. And in that file, we're gonna have a set of strings one in each line and we're going to simply read that string and print it off. So let's get going. Here I have my main class. I've already imported some stuff which is what I'm going to need um, but in the main method is where everything is going to happen for this challenge. So the first thing I have to do is that since I'm going to be getting the file name as the first parameter to my main method, what I have to do is I have to create the file that I'm going to be reading. like so. args0 is the first element of my args string array and that is my parameter. So file is going to be the first parameter uh, passed to my main method, i.e. the only parameter and the file that we're going to be reading. Then we create a buffered reader and this buffered reader is going to read from the file reader. Oh, spell a mistake that is going to read from our file. So, um, yeah, we have to try catch that in just a second. So essentially what we're doing here is we're creating the file reader um, and then this reads from the file and we give that to a buffered reader so that we can um, buffer the input and then read it line by line. Of course, because we're dealing with files here, we have to put all of this in a try catch block. Um, And here we could deal with error if we wanted to. Um, but right now we're not going to deal with it because there's really not going to be any problem with the file. Okay, so after creating the buffered reader, we create a string, which is going to be each line of the file that we're going to be reading. And then while line, which is every line that we read, is not null, we can do something with the line. So if the line is not empty then we simply print out the line to lowercase so system out print ln line to lowercase and there we have it this is our challenge already solved so let me go once again through what we're doing here we are receiving in args 0 the first element of our string array the file name which we're going to be reading. We use that to create a new file which is what our program is going to use to access the file in our system. Then we create a new buffered reader. This is going to buffer through what the file reader reads and this of course is getting its input from the file. So the new buffered reader reads from the new file reader which reads from file. Then we create a, a string which we're going to call line and this is going to store every of the lines in our file while line, which is equal to the next line in our file, is not null, then we do something with it. And what we do is that if it's not empty, we simply print it out but convert it to lowercase. If the line is already lowercase, this simply prints it out again because converting something that's already lowercase to lowercase doesn't do anything. Uh, and then we could uh, deal with the error here, but um, because we're then going to be uploading this to code eval, which is the website that I'm using for the challenges, dealing with errors, um, should there be any, is a bit of a pain. So it's better to not deal with the error uh, in this very instance. But in other instances, you might want to simply print there, there was an error, um, reading the file or something like that. So yeah, this is how we solve the lowercase challenge. And I'll see you in the next video. We're going to be solving another of these easy challenges to get us started. 
So I'll see you in the next one.